go big or go home. <laughs> and I took this from I took this from somebody's office. They're literally in there. I just went and unplugged it and brought it. <laughs> so, so hey, uh, I need to borrow this real quick. <laughs> I know. I'll, I'll I'll return it back and give me give me a while. I'll return it back. But oh my god, so Gino's sitting over sweating right now. <laughs> Sorry about that, Gino. <laughs> I took his number one fan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, too many jokes we can do with that i know right oh my gosh so uh, yeah we'll, we'll just stop there because I, I already it's bad we're like too many jokes the ones that i thought will probably get this video banned so yeah, <laughs> we, we, won't, we won't sell those jokes welcome everybody to zia comic weekly where we get ready to nerd out for the next half hour uh and joining us we have the con promoter everybody what are you promoting cons <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh it's here man this weekend yeah. uh if you have not heard about las cruces comic-con by now definitely uh haven't driven a you car under a rock <laughs> you haven't you know walked outside uh, you know you haven't been anywhere in the last 30 to 60 days because it's everywhere right now <laughs> yeah we spent a lot on advertising we want everybody to know oh man and it's uh it, it's a big one man you guys went big this year and uh Talk to me. Uh, are we, we ready to go for this weekend? <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> later today, we're going over and walking the uh, convention center. The, the setup's pretty much done. We're just going to go make sure everything is as it should be because we're using the whole convention center this time. And we want to make sure there's no issues when vendors yeah. come set up. And they're like, hey, man, where's my booth? <laughs> oh, man, it's, uh, it's already here. Uh, you guys have probably heard us talk about it on our group of radio stations uh just and some of the guests that we've had join us on the airwaves uh, over the last couple of weeks man it's been awesome and i can't believe it man it's it's already here yeah yeah it's uh it, it's always that kind of calm before the storm because <laughs> i'm always thinking did i forget something did i, did I plan for everything you know get, and usually it goes pretty smooth and uh you know sunday night uh, i'm either going to be smiling in the lobby or crying in the back room <laughs> all right we we're, we're, we're hoping for smiling that's yes. what we're hoping for we want smiling not crying Crossing fingers uh from last year to this year of course like you said it's uh the, the whole convention center so you guys are definitely in for a treat uh the guest it's just man i tell you i i can't stress this enough you got something for everybody man for this weekend yeah, yeah, I've I've seen a few people complain that you know, oh, you're not, you, you didn't get any uh, A list people, dude. This is Las Cruces, and I can't afford Tom Holland. <laughs> he, and Tom know, he Holland's on strike years. right now, okay? Yeah, so. well, they, they can still do cons. They just can't talk about any struck work. <laughs> you, oh, that that is true, huh? That was part of the agreement. They can't talk yeah. about any projects. But no, man. Um. You know, I mentioned this last week, man. I mean, with Honky Tonk, man, uh, for my wrestling fans out there, I mean, you guys are right now in a moment where Honky Tonk Man's name is being brought up a lot just because of, you know, his legendary career and kind of what's happening now. Like, don't be surprised if Honky Tonk Man shows up on a live event pretty soon. Like, I it just I kind of see where that's going. So it's just like anything else, man. We're, we're right there is that you're about to see a lot of Honky Tonk Man. Uh, in the next, you know, couple of weeks. Yeah, his record might get broken, and uh, yeah, that's good because uh, that that guy, you know, after his heyday, he kind of just faded, and he hit the con scene hard. Yeah, and uh, I'm just glad he's getting his due now. Yeah, no, but I tell you, man, it's just it's it's amazing because like these moments where it's like you y'all don't realize like it's going to be like those that get their pictures and they get their stuff with him this weekend you you you'll watch trust me you're going to be like oh man I'm so glad I got that because I got it right at the moment where it's like this big highlight right now in wrestling yeah, so that'll be an investment because I'm sure it's you know if his record does get broken or even if it doesn't it's going to be uh, his, his name's in the news a lot more like you said so he's a lot more prominent and his stuff is going to be more sought after yeah. and you got to think about it man like there's a lot of stuff especially i mean you when we first were you know the preliminary talks about this i mean you saw how crazy people around here got for a tray you and how everybody got oh, sad when they talk about the horse scene i mean oh. it's like there's a tray you oh the poor horse swamp of sadness, <laughs> swamp of sadness. <laughs> i mean but yeah man there literally is going to be something for everyone i mean from the voice actors you know you got 
you know, Raymond Gay in the house. You got uh, I don't have my list right in front of me, but it just yeah, man, you you got you you got to set up nicely for for this weekend of entertainment. Yeah, I mean, I, I even had there was somebody uh, asking me, well, well, what comic artist are you bringing into this comic con? I was like, well, uh, I don't know. How about Raymond Gay, Jay Photos, uh, plus all the local guys who are coming. We got a lot of local talent who have booths here. So, I mean, you, you always get those. Uh, it's the naysayers, you know, the comic book men. The, the, they're, they're always trying to say, well, if it's a comic con, it should just be all comic book stuff. <laughs> no, it's evolved past that, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Y'all haven't seen, you know, the cons are the thing man i mean it is a it is a lifestyle people go to these things and you're delivering for not just comic books but just the lifestyle man and from superheroes to any adventure it's all going to be there yeah it's it's more of a pop culture event anymore it's just that name comic-con has stuck with it so like i said we we try to get right we have voice actors we have wrestlers we have movie actors we have comic book artists we we have it all man we're, we're trying Can to cater to everyone can I throw a little behind the scenes just that people probably don't know about just so people can sure. kind of see like just we're pulling the curtain back, everybody. <laughs> so, you know, when, uh, you know, we, we, we get these, you know, when, when these people are coming in and, you know, we mentioned, you know, Troy and I are talking about, hey, can we get some of the people that are going to be on the on the bill uh, to, you know, do radio? Man, did you deliver, man? I got kudos to you, man, and your team. I mean, I mean, we had a whole schedule you delivered, and it, it's tough, guys. By the way, it is very tough to sometimes to get people's schedules and mm -hmm. to get them excited about it. But, man, it seemed like everybody was stoked to to be on and talk, and they were just so complimentary of just kind of what's being put together, man. So just kudos to you guys, man, because it's tough to get them like, hey, do you guys want to want to do radio? And they're like, oh, what time do I have to get up? Oh. <laughs> can i call in can i do this oh wait 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 a minute i got a i got called the set hold on I can, yeah, yeah it's you're, you're shooting through the spokes trying to get these things scheduled yeah and you you sent out the, the bat signal there you go there's your comic <laughs> reference everybody and man it's just like next thing you know it's bam uh this person wants to jump on bam here we go hey i got this person on wednesday i got this oh man it was it was awesome so kudos to you got man it just it was awesome and i know everybody here was excited i tell you uh, Daniel Ba just had me just cracking up, man. I mean, the, when you can have a conversation after the interview, that's yeah. always the best interview. Sometimes you're like, man, I should have kept hitting. I should have left it on record. But <laughs> I mean, those are just the conversations that you that I don't think folks don't really understand. But man, it, it's going to be a good time, man. Yeah. And Daniel Ba has local ties, too. Yeah. So the New Mexico boy. Hey, if hey, y'all showing up and you see him, make sure y'all take him some Mexican food. All right. He's already established that it was green all the way. So uh, we didn't have my to ask man. Him that question. Yeah, <laughs> he knew. I was like, yeah, you went with the right one. So, but it's crazy though. Cause like his story. Okay. So he has fam in Albuquerque, but this is the first New Mexico event that he's doing. It's not even in mm -hmm. Albuquerque. It's here in Las Cruces. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you guys should jump on that. Uh, his character right now is so hot. Jinbei. Well, he does a qu couple different characters, but Jinbei is his main one. Dude, that that character is just so popular right now. And just like how we said about Honky Tonk, man, this is yeah. another character. He even said on there, man, he's like, this character has changed my life. It's changed my life completely, uh, just how popular. And the popularity just continues to rise the more he does. Yeah, he's relatively new to the scene. So you're yeah. probably going to see him a lot more late yeah. in, in the near future. Yeah, so guys, get your tickets. Uh, what are we looking like right now? Um, as far as tickets, uh, we're we, they still go online. Uh, they're gonna have to wait in line and get them at the door. What we got? Uh, you can get them online. They're still available online. Uh, probably will be up until day of, and then okay. we'll turn off the online. Um, there's still a handful of VIP stuff left, and, and I'm I can't stress it enough. VIP is your best bet for the value. Because you're getting a free photo op, the T-shirt, the swag bag, the water tumbler, the enamel pen, uh, the VIP badge, the lanyard, frontline access, uh, preferred seating at the panels. Uh, there's just so much that the VIP, it's worth it, man. Uh, if you haven't gotten your VIP, you might want to check into that. Yeah. But they will be available at the door, too. Yeah, so you guys, these a really good deal. I mean, you can't beat the deal. I mean, he mentioned all that that you guys are getting with the VIP and the photo alone, man, that, that's the thing that's so cool is that yeah. you're getting a photo op with, uh, with, with VIP. Yeah. That's a 30 or $40 value right there. 
Yeah, I mean, you're pretty uh, much paying the price of the and ticket. If you buy your tickets in advance, you don't have to wait in that buy line. You can come straight through to the checkout line. Uh, and if you saw the lines last year, it's, people were waiting out there for a little while. It, it was a long line. Yeah, man. So y'all get your tickets now. Make sure you guys beat the lines. Get in. Uh, what are some things that people need to know before they head out this weekend to, to Comic-Con? What are some things that we need to let uh, you know our viewers and our listeners know uh, before they head out this weekend? Uh, well, just like every venue, the convention center is not going to let you bring in outside food or drink, but you yeah. can bring in a refillable water bottle, which is part of the VIP package. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. And if you don't, you, we, we'll be selling them also for, I think, five bucks. Uh, you can buy one. Take it to the water fountain, fill it up. I use I use them all the time, and it's it's great, man. Um, other than that, you know, you might if you didn't get your tickets in advance, I'm sorry, you might have to wait in line to the door because uh, this is a walk up town. Everybody <laughs> waits to the last minute, <laughs> and there was a big line last year. Uh, this year, uh, we went in. I think that's the. I'm bad with directions. The near the hotel, I think that's the south end. Uh, yeah, we used that entrance we're not using that entrance this year it's going to be the regular entrance through the ballroom we're forcing people in through the ballroom and then you come out into uh, the lobby there the the, the pre-function area in the lobby you go down the hallway there'll be vendors there too and then into the exhibit hall where your uh, other vendors and celebrities are at nice nice so you guys got definitely uh we saw it last week remember you had the map and you were showing us yeah it wasn't just squares and circles everybody that was the map <laughs> <laughs> Even though people are like, wow, he really is bad at Tetris. It's like, yeah. What is he doing? You know, it's, it, that, was, that was the layout. Uh, no, that's good because I think oftentimes now with, you know, there being that other entrance on the other side, um, other events, people are like, well, do I go in this side or do I go in on that side? But no, it's going to be. Follow the crowd. The be a lemming. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Be, do that and follow them. Uh, for those that are wondering, well, wait, what side? It's going to be the side that's right there at the corner of university and espina so you're gonna be right there at that right at that intersection it'll be going in through that way so yeah guys go get your tickets check it out it's gonna be a great time i am excited man and then with campus back in session uh what best way to kick off your first weekend in town than uh good old las cruces comic-con yeah you got thirsty thursday tonight <laughs> take care of that hangover on friday then come to the con on saturday and sunday <laughs> oh man, I was thinking the same thing too. <laughs> Party hard on Thursday, sleep it off on Friday, yep. get ready for the weekend. <laughs> yeah, or even if you got your tickets, Friday we're having a little meet and mingle at the uh, Courtyard Marriott at our hotel over there. Nice. Uh, so. You know, any ticket holder, vendor, you're allowed to be there. Uh, all the featured guests are invited. We don't know how many are going to show up. Last year we had a couple show up. You know, Ted DiBiase came out, Joe Statton, uh, the cosplayer we had, they showed up. You know. They'll, they'll show up, hang out for a little while, and then they might go get something to eat and come back. And uh, so you might get to see some of the celebrities before the con even starts at the yeah. meet angle. Make sure you guys go and check it out this week. And it is going to be a blast. Las Cruces Convention Center. And like we said, LasCrucesComicCon.com. Make sure you get your tickets and uh, get them in advance, man. We can't can't stress that enough. Get them in advance. Uh, you, you just got that school money. Go ahead and get them in advance. Yeah. <laughs> you already got the books. You're ready to go. Uh, the books will always be there. Cons once a year. <laughs> exactly. A con is a way of life. Make sure you guys prioritize, okay? <laughs> man, if you're my mom heard me say that, yeah, you, know, you don't need no books. You're to make bad financial decisions. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I still do. Uh, dude, uh, me too. That's why I'm really to the point where I'm like, I need to be on an allowance at this point because I see shiny things and I'm like, I think I need that. Why? For my office? Really? Do you need that for your office? Yeah. Uh -huh. so, Is your inner dude. magpie coming out? Yeah. yeah it, it, man, I tell you, I in my office right now, I got a full-fledged photo of uh, Phoenix Suns memorabilia that I probably didn't need, but I just, it looks so nice. And. Well, but I it, want it. <laughs> it looked good. And it looks good. I mean, but yeah. Anyways, so shout out to the wife who loves me no matter what I spend money on. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, I'll say that that could change. Yeah, that could. <laughs> don't no, spend too don't much. Worry. I'll have to <laughs> date night. Date night, maybe <laughs> something. <laughs> what do you What do you want to do? We'll do what you want to do. No, you want to see a Barbie movie twice? Let's go see it twice. We'll do that. <laughs> Uh, let's uh, let's nerd out. Uh, speaking of Barbie movie, uh, obviously Margot Robbie is headed to the bank. Fifty million dollars is how much she is going to be making from this movie after the success of the Barbie movie. Yeah, it uh, it's killing it, man. Um, I, I think 
it hit on so many different things. And, you know, I thought hope Hollywood doesn't take the wrong message from this and say, oh, we need more toy movies. It's not just that. It was also it, it spoke a lot to women and uh, and it, you know, it shined a light on how bad dudes can be. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I mean, as long as you're not, uh, you know, toxic masculine, you'll enjoy it. it I like that. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, guys are that way. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, it's going to be one of those was like. Yeah, that, oh man, I apologize. I'm really sorry that yeah. that's what's going on. You yeah, know? you start seeing yourself in a lot of the things going on there. You're like, oh, <laughs> I'm the problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, just kind of hearing rumblings around the office, you know, uh, someone mentioned this today and they actually mentioned it this morning. They said, you know, you're either going to be, you're going to like it or you're not going to like it. With the Barbie movie, that's kind of what you're getting. Either it's going to be, yep. This is one of the best movies or no, it's not. There's no in between when it comes to this movie. And I'm hearing a lot of people say that it's just, it's a great movie. So it's a good movie. I'm, I'm kind of indifferent toward it. I thought it was a good movie, but I wouldn't go watch it again. And if it was playing on TV, I might go past it because it's, I, for me, it's one of those movies. Once you know the, the whole storyline, this is like, yeah, I don't need to see it again. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I'm waiting for it to stream. I mean, I'm really enjoying the fact that it's like, okay, when it gets to streaming and I don't have to pay for it because I already pay for a streaming service, I'm definitely going to watch it. Uh, no, that's the that's the plan for that one. But I've heard a lot of people say that it's uh, really good. And I mean, I guess overall, just the, the you know, the person that's getting a lot of a shine for this is obviously Michael Sarah. Uh, you know, uh, they're saying <laughs> Alan was such a great character. I saw this interview with Michael Sarah where his agent was like, yeah, they want you to play this guy named Alan, but it's, you know, they're going to be shooting overseas. And I told him, I don't think he's really interested. And he was just like, what? He's like, yes, I'm interested. <laughs> like, I guess he was taken back by like, I guess they're his, whoever was going to be like, no, he doesn't want to have to travel to London to film. And then meanwhile, it's like, he was like, <laughs> no, I will travel to London. This is the Barbie movie. And uh, look how well it worked out for him. Yeah. His character is, is, probably one of my favorites in the movie and uh, he so, holds his own against like five or six kins oh my gosh <laughs> he can throw by the down. way in this interview it was throwing me off because michael sarah had facial hair and i'm just so used to see yeah troy it was bad man i was like wait he's old <laughs> i'm just so used to seeing him from like super bad and uh, some of these other movies that he's done in the past that he's like looks like a little kid and i'm like wait i think he's my age so I didn't know cool. he could physically grow hair on his face. I didn't think that either. It's just like, well, it was a little patchy. Let's not, let's, let's be for real. It was a little patchy. Yeah. So, well, I mean, I'll go a couple patches too. Me too. Yeah. I can't grow the full beard the way that I would like to. So I can't have a nice Uncle Phil beard. It's just more, I look like patches, a hula hand. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I, look, I look homeless when I let it grow out too far. It gets all oh, nasty, curly. I can't get it yeah. straightened. And yeah. No, I, I don't know why. It just, I was, I wasn't blessed to have the perfect, perfect beard. Uh, Blue Beetle is coming. You know, man, I really was thrown off. Blue Beetle comes out this weekend. Yeah, tomorrow, I think, as a matter yeah, of fact. Yeah, tomorrow. I kept saying October for the longest time. So it shows you how much I was paying attention. Yeah, well, we're giving away some tickets at the trivia contest for Blue oh, Beetle. Man. Compliments <laughs> of Allen Theaters. There you go. There so. you go. So, uh, Blue Beetle, what are our expectations for this? Because... You know, they kind of went and tell in at the very end when it comes to promotion, because obviously with the writer strike, you know, a lot of them, a lot of the stuff that they've been using is stuff that was, you know, pre-recorded, you know, back at the beginning of the year. So what do we think? Do we think it's getting it's, you know, it's just this when it comes to promotion for this DC movie? The early stuff I've seen, it's been getting really good reviews from the audience and uh, critics. I usually don't care what critics say, but yeah. it's the audience. And the audience has been giving it like high 80s. Um, from everything I can see, it, it's going to be a good movie uh, in spite of George Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yeah. his role isn't that big. I mean, he's one of the family. Yeah. <laughs> he's like the uncle or something so yeah, yeah but I, I love the kid who does the blue beetle i uh um, can't remember his name right now yeah Played cobra kai, on cobra kai. Yeah. yeah so i i can't even honestly i see his name written down and i can't say it i just go miguel from cobra kai yeah <laughs> yeah i think that kid's gonna be a breakout star here soon um 
I liked him at Cobra Kai. Uh, the previews, it looks good with him as Blue Beetle, Jaime Reyes. And supposedly, even though it's not based in El Paso, there's supposedly a bunch of like Easter eggs or references to El Paso because the character was born and raised there. Mm-hmm. So there was a little nod to El Paso. Maybe we'll, we'll notice we'll, those. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to we'll have to pay attention. Uh, for those, uh, Blue Beetle is out this weekend. I don't really see any other competition going up against this weekend. I mean, if Barbie continues its dominance at the box <laughs> office, it's going to be a little tough. I really had uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, taking down Barbie at the box office, and it didn't even get close, man. Barbie is just a massive machine that is just honestly at this point let's just call it it's going to be movie of the year for 2023 <laughs> yeah and i heard turtles was a good movie too but barbie's just just stomping everybody that comes in maybe blue beetle will be the one to unseat barbie yeah maybe i mean i, I think it, it's i don't know we just maybe we need a different take and i hope this is a different take on the superhero movie um it just it could be something that can definitely you know bring a different light i mean obviously from dc we're used to the dark and very action packed and very serious of DC that maybe they're doing something different. I mean, yes, George Lopez is in it and not a, really a <laughs> lot of fans of George Lopez these days, uh, but maybe there's that little bit of, you know, comedic element. Maybe there's people that are going to see more comedy and maybe, you know, obviously we're going to still get the action, but I, I don't know. I mean, I think this is a big role for Miguel and I think this is what takes him to the next level. I mean, we could see him, you know, in bigger projects moving down the line. Yeah, I'm going to age myself here, but it kind of reminds me of Greatest American Hero. If you ever watched that back in the day, and by did your look, I can tell you did not. No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the dude he comes across uh, some alien, an alien super suit in a briefcase uh, out in the desert, and it came with directions. And of course, something happens, and he lost the direction, so he didn't know how to work the suit. So it was, uh, it was a lot of comedy of him just trying to figure out what the suit could do and how he could use it. And I think it, this looks a lot like that. It really does. Oh my God, the abuelita. They, they, the, a lot of the things that I've seen is she's definitely a lot of our grandmas. Like she just has the the you know they're gonna feed you until you can't eat no more. Uh, they're gonna throw a a, a chancla at you at some point. Uh, so I think that's where we're gonna get a lot of those uh, El Paso references from. So yeah, a lot of the Latino uh, mannerisms and stuff. Yeah, be- you're gonna definitely see that. I, you know what it is though? I think a lot of people are like if they don't reference Chico's tacos, then is it really El Paso? No, I mean yeah, on, not everybody on. likes Chico's tacos. I, was say, that is, I mean. <laughs> There's so many other things going on in El Paso, but uh, yeah, man, Blue Beetle, I hope it does really well. I, I really am. I'm rooting for DC to get a win, man, because the Flash is <sighs> really disappointed. Yeah, it's, uh, well, I haven't seen it, but I know no. at the box office, it did not perform. Yeah, and uh, they, I, I, TikTok, you, y'all need to stop because there obviously are some people that get a chance to see the early screenings, <laughs> and some of them have already tried to spoil the the the, te- the teaser that's at the end, the end credits. So yeah, I'm just trying to to avoid yeah, that. I'm, it should be streaming soon. I keep waiting. Yeah. So um, we had talked about this a couple of weeks ago. Like, is it was it right for Blue Beetle to go straight to theaters, or should they have stuck with the max? I mean, obviously, preference for us. We would have loved if it would just be streaming, but was this the right move for them? I guess we're going to find out. I I think you're going to see a lot more movies come to streaming sooner. Uh, I I don't think they're ever going to get away from the first release theater thing, but uh, run it in the theater for like a month and then put it on streaming. That's For me, that's the perfect plan. Yeah, I mean, I know they try to milk the every last dollar they can. I mean, I thought it was kind of interesting with you mentioned family earlier, but uh, you know, Fast and Furious, it's like they made their money quick at the box office and they weren't going to last that long because Guardians then came out. So they got their quick two week run at number one. And then it seemed by the end of May, they were already having it that you can purchase it online. So is it like you said, do a quick run at the box office? And, and, you know, this can go to all movies, but I think mainly talking about superhero movies, get it in your box office for a few minutes, for a few weeks, then go to your streamers. Disney Plus has a perfect opportunity when you got a Guardians that does well. And then depending on how well it does or not at the box office, you take it to streaming immediately. 
Yeah, because there's going to be people who are going to do both, watch it in the theaters and on streaming. But I think your your subscriber numbers might get a boost if they know that hey, you know, after one month, th- this is coming out on the streamer, so I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. subscribe. Especially because if you say you didn't have a Disney Plus and you know you've been keeping up with the Guardians of the Galaxy in theaters, and you didn't get a chance to, for whatever reason may be, that may entice you to say, hey, it's coming out next month and stream. I'm gonna go ahead and get Disney Plus and then get all this extra content that's going on. Yeah, I mean, I for me, I mean, there might be reasons we don't know about that they're not doing that. Probably legal stuff. Yeah. Uh, how do you pay the? Uh, that? But they're gonna have to restructure contracts to take that in account. Yeah, I mean, you you have to. I mean, we saw what happened. I mean, Scarlett Johansson, man. I mean, just that whole deal was. I mean, if they would have planned it right. I mean, we probably could have seen a lot and it probably could have been, like you said, the the structure of how they go about doing these movies. Yeah, they, they could have approached that better rather than just saying, oh, nope, we're only paying you for the box office. That's what we said. So, yeah, <laughs> but you didn't mention streaming at that point. So, yeah. And also there was a pandemic going on and everyone was staying home. So can we renegotiate before you just say, hey, we're not going to put it in theaters. We're just going to stream it. Yeah, but I, I would like to see them, you know, they can yeah. they can fix some kind of royalty off of the streaming as well uh, to yeah. pay these guys out, uh, you know, pay them X amount for each time it's streamed or something. Uh, I would love to see a deal like that. There's, there's, they got to work something out. Um, one of the movies I got to ch- I watched it again last night. I went back and watched Guardians of the Galaxy three because, uh, <laughs> you know, I, w- I was with you. I was like, it was it was good. Um so I just, I don't know. I, I went back and really with the watchful eye was watching it just kind of to see what was going on. And I am excited for what's going to come next, but I think I'm okay with a little bit of a break from the Guardians of the Galaxy because we obviously know the behind the scenes stuff. James Gunn is not coming back. Uh, Dave Batiste is not coming back. Uh, I believe, I don't think Mantis is going to come back either. Um, I, I don't know, man. I, but I think if you give it some time and we take a break, <laughs> Maybe we'll be excited for, you know, whatever comes back. I, I would really like to explore more of the, the Rocket, you know, storyline. But I think we need a little bit of a Guardians break. Or, or just have them do cameos in the other yeah. movies. Something like yeah. that. I, I think we'll, we'll we'll see that down. But maybe it's time for us to just say, hey, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> you had a good run. Let's uh, back burner this for a while. You really did. Um, Yeah, I went back and I, I like i said it was obviously distracted while i was watching it the first time but the second time man it really tug at your heartstrings with the whole rocket storyline yeah yeah i mean he has a real sad story um and i don't know if you noticed but they positioned cosmo to have a more prominent role as well <laughs> so maybe <laughs> they're going to do guardians with a you know that new lineup and try to run it that way yeah, I mean, it could work. I mean, even if you go to, I, I don't know, but I think Bradley Cooper probably won't say, I'm not about to voice for a TV series. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Bradley Cooper. And, well, Vin Diesel, if y'all don't have enough I Am Groot at this point, come on, Disney. Like, I don't think you need to call him back to, to re-record that. Well, at, at this point, you don't see him. Can't you get anybody to say I Am Groot? And you know what? They, I just thought about it. They had to bring him back because, obviously, he says something different in the movie. So he had another set of lines. Yeah, he did have a different line. But even so, there's enough people that can make that voice. I mean, come on. I am Groot. Done. Wait for Groot to say family. Oh, my God. If he was I am said family. That, I, don't, I love my family. <laughs> my God. You know, I mean. You and know then drive the off in an old Dodge Charger. Oh, my God. The nerds would have lost their mind because then they would have probably somewhere out there on a TikTok would have combined grew with Vin Diesel drag racing down Rio de Janeiro and as they're driving up uh to you know Star Lord I don't know they're just and then Jason they're... Momoa Aquaman jumps out <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh man there's a, a lot going on man I, I'm excited um uh like I said uh last week we talked a little bit about the streaming price increase uh man to see Disney plus gonna have an increase ah yeah. I don't yeah, know, Hulu man. went up, and uh, I, I'm thinking I don't like Hulu's interface, so I'm thinking maybe jumping back to YouTube TV and yeah. getting Disney on the side. Yeah, uh, YouTube TV, and we saw this earlier this week. 
uh, with them now owning the NFL, having the rights to the NFL network and the NFL game time and, you know, all the games, uh, they said they're going to be throwing in four months of max free if you Ooh. get the NFL network. And obviously, you this is all YouTube, uh, YouTube TV, uh, but you would be able to get uh, also the, you know, max for free for four months. Huh. So I don't hmm. know how much the NFL, you know, packages, but is it going to be valued at? The four months that I wouldn't have to spend money on. Well, I know YouTube TV uh, tells you, "Hey, share this with up to six people. We don't care. Up to six, you can share it." I like that. So, yeah, I mean, the rest of them are cutting back on that sharing. YouTube's like, "No, go ahead, go ahead." <laughs> yeah, just take it. Just take it. We, please, we don't mind. Please, take, please. You want more? <laughs> I'll give you more. Take more. <laughs> yeah, you're right, man. Because I noticed that you know everyone is trying to adopt the whole Netflix. Like, hey, they're seen an increase in uh you know hey might as well do the same thing that Netflix is doing <laughs> so man well, it's the crazy. one thing hulu i gotta finish watching this new series called moving it's uh it's kind of a superhero based thing but it's, it's a korean subtitled series moving? And it's actually really good man i was i watched the first time i'm like oh man i got hooked on another series <laughs> <laughs> by the way i oh my god i forgot to mention this <laughs> Troy sent me an email a oh. couple days ago. <laughs> I, you know, obviously y'all heard me talk about the, is this cake? Uh, <laughs> so he sent me this TikTok and I'm just like, what the hell is this? Oh no, it was uh, obviously, is this Did any of them fool you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, come on, man. They were very it's, obvious, like uh, third grader made cakes. <laughs> I know it's like, it's an egg. And then you could tell it's like, Oh man, I was like, "Hey man, don't be messing with it. Is this cake? Don't knock it till you try it." <laughs> it was horrible, man. It was oh, bad. It was bad. I know I got that. I was like, "What? What did Troy send me?" I was like, "Wait, did he get? Oh no, this is a is this cake reference?" Oh, <laughs> yeah, I saw that and I immediately thought of you. I was like, "Oh, <laughs> hey man, don't knock it till you try it." Uh, you know, back to the Hulu thing that you mentioned. Hulu be dropping some shows sometimes. That you least expect it, and it comes up on your main menu. You're like, oh, what the heck is this about? And yeah, man. So I didn't even hear about that show. So yeah, I just I happened to be going through Hulu, and it was just it popped up on there, and I'm like, oh well, let's let's try it. It's, it's a Hulu original series, but it's filmed in South Korea, and it's all in Korean with subtitles. Ah, okay. All right, Hulu, you just sneak yeah, one in there. And, and, like and, and... Hulu. <laughs> <laughs> it's because they know they're like, what did you say? You said that you were going to go back to YouTube TV. Here we go and throw a show that you yeah. like. Give, give him moving. Give, give him a little bit of that. <laughs> so an, uh, a, a superhero that we got to recognize, and I don't even think he is really a superhero, uh, but somebody made this observation where they said, obviously, with the status of superhero movies and where they've been going as of late, you know, they've obviously have had kind of their, you know, their ups and downs. I mean, there's been some good movies, but nothing stellar. And I think everybody is chasing the end game, obviously, because it was such a big movie. Uh, but somebody made a note that they said, really, the person they need to hire is Seth Rogen. <laughs> no, I didn't realize this. Seth Rogen is behind. He's the mastermind behind the boys. Yep. Apparently, he has another superhero project that's in the works. He is also responsible for the Ninja Turtles movies, which seem to be picking up really good steam when it comes to just getting the awareness out there. Um, and then I believe there's a cartoon on Hulu that he's also executive producing uh, that is also getting a lot of buzz from people. And it's obviously based on superheroes and stuff. So they said, is it time to go to Seth Rogen and say, hey, do we start a bidding war to say, hey, do you want to come to Marvel or do you want to come to DC? Because hmm. he might be on to something because the boys right now is just extremely popular for and Amazon. There's a spinoff Prime. coming. Yeah. So. Is this time for people to say, hey, <laughs> who does he want to go to? So the Rogan verse. Right? Like, do we get that? But should DC and, and Marvel be looking out? Because James Gunn, obviously, but I mean, is the next guy Seth Rogan? He's got the comedic chops, and, and uh, obviously he's connected everywhere. He knows just about everybody in Hollywood. So that might not, and, and he's going to do at least one voice in every one of his movies. So I mean, but might look not at be a bad in, choice. But look at his, like, he was in the Mario Brothers movie, right? He was yeah, Donkey Kong. Kong. 
but then to turn around and then use that same voice and be in the Ninja Turtles and still like I'm not watching Ninja Turtles, by the way. Great movie. I just got to throw it out. I got a chance to see it. Great movie. But I'm not thinking of Donkey Kong when I'm watching Ninja Turtles. It's like as much as everyone recognizes his voice. It it, it kind of takes you to that 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 universe. It's yeah. It's not like he changes his voice at all. It's just he's got some kind of magic he sprinkles or something, and people don't realize. It. Oh, is that the same guy? Uh, it's something about it. But then it's like I don't know. And then you can just call up your buddy Ice Cube and John Cena and say, Hey, do you guys want to be in this animated Ninja Turtle movie that is definitely going to take off? Yeah, I mean, and, I mean, it's, and Michael Sarah. I want to see Michael Sarah in a superhero. Sh- movie oh, bad come on. <laughs> i mean he but see i think he's the guy right now that could probably take these because you know obviously we're looking for something unique something that's going to spark back that interest back i mean not that there's not interest don't get me wrong i know we love our storylines but to those new fans how do you bring in someone else and is seth rogan the guy they need to to to, to call on yeah that I, like i said michael sarah danny mcbride <laughs> Oh uh, my God! Seen all those guys in one big. <laughs> How has he gotten his troop to do a superhero movie? Because that would seem awesome. That um, uh, who else? Uh, obviously Jonah Hill. I mean, you can throw Jonah Hill. Oh, I somewhere. forgot about Jonah. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, there's just quite a few. I think he's the guy that you need to go for it. Because honestly, I will not be shocked if the boys ends up with the movie deal, and shocks a lot of people in the future. I mean, it's just it, it's it's possible. Yeah, boys might be ra- rated R, <laughs> maybe rated one X for the yeah, violence. But look, yeah, but look how many people are excited for Deadpool being rated R. <sighs> like, it's crazy though. So why wouldn't I? Don't know. I think Seth Rogen could beat a lot of people to the punch if they if they brought him on. Yeah, whoever whoever thought of that is genius because I I didn't even enter my mind. But yeah, he he does produce a lot of stuff. It's it's successful, yeah. So, and, but we never think about it because we're just stuck no. with it. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good, by the way. Yeah, that, that you hit it nailed on right there. You that really was, did, huh? You know, it's the cup of coffee that I had today. It really brought out my inner <laughs> Seth Rogen. By the way, I'm trying to make sure I don't say Joe Rogan because I want to keep saying Joe Rogan. That's a totally no. Don't. No, don't want a movie him. with him. No, no, not him. We want Seth Rogen, not yeah, Joe. Fear Rogan. Factor was enough of, of Joe yeah. Rogan. <laughs> yeah, he can stay at UFC and podcasting, <laughs> whatever else he's doing. But Seth Rogen, uh, DC, Marvel, that's the guy. I think that's the guy right now. Just like wow. how Fargo is the guy, uh, Seth, I think, is another one. Yeah, maybe DC will grab him, but they got James Gunn. I don't know. That's wow. There's some heavy maybe, hitters, man. Maybe an independent will pick him up like Valiant or something. Because Bloodshot, is a, I mean, Valiant has good characters, good stories. They can't seem to put a movie worth of crap on the screen. So if you go get this guy. Maybe. 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 A, third, a third competitor will now enter into the war against comic book movies. <laughs> it, it could be fascinating, guys. But yeah, no, I came across that. And just the way that they broke it down, I'm just kind of like, damn, I would have never really thought. Because you just, like I said, we just, he's a laugh and a, and a funny guy. But no, this is. I'm sold. That, yeah. That's, Let's make it happen. Guy. When you make it happen. <laughs> uh, if they want to stay up to date with you, how can they connect with you on the socials? We're all over interwebs. We got uh, Insta, Meta, Twitter. Wait a minute. It's X now. Yeah. Yeah. X. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook, YouTube, and Tiki Taki. Hey, are you sad that uh, Mark and Elon aren't going to duke it out in an octagon? I mean, who really thought that was going to happen? Elon's a little hard. I think I think Mark was taking it serious because he was out there training with real UFC fighters. I think the other one was just blowing smoke. I saw some videos of, of Zuck, and uh, I, I wouldn't want to fight him. He's hate- got some skills. You're, he's training with Stylebender, who is a UFC champion. And Elon is trying to decide, hey, man, do I name it Twitter? Do I name it X? Elon's getting sued and, you know, they're making him take down all of his new signs from his buildings because he didn't have permission. Did you see those pictures? Yes. (laughs) Come on, man. Like, why are you making the signs? Like, imagine if you lived across the street from their headquarters. 
It's like, no. why, are you, why are you blinding me with this big light up X? And why go with X? Your your URL is still twitter.com. <laughs> so why go by X? I, I don't know. But like we mentioned last week, for those that buy X premium, there's a lot of husbands in trouble. <laughs> Uh, you can catch me on the Facebook Hot Widow 3's Big Show uh, on face on Instagram. Uh, you can catch me there. Joey on the FM, Big Show FM. And then on Tiki Taki, Joey on the FM. You guys can catch me there. And don't forget to get your tickets. LasCrucesComicCon.com. It is happening this weekend. Troy, we wish you all the luck this weekend. I'm going and to like need to thank you. We want to, see you. we want to see you smile, not crying. Okay. Yes, I'd like to do this again next year. So I hope everybody shows up. Oh, man. So, guys, go out there, have some fun. Uh, and Troy, <laughs> the, 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 I was trying to think of something catchy to, like, was it say, vaya con Dios. <laughs> vaya con Dios. <laughs> something. <laughs> guys, this has been another edition of Zia Comic Weekly. We'll see you all next week. Later, nerds.